Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, we're going to discuss the stack and tilt golf swing with the driver. So one of the misconceptions that I hear a lot of the time is you can't use the stack and tilt system with the driver. And I couldn't disagree anymore. I think driving is one of the strongest areas of my game. I just think people are slightly misinformed on how, how to do it with the driver. So today we're going to talk about the setup and the golf swing with the driver. So first of all, as we set up, the golf ball should be positioned just inside our left heel, just inside our left shoulder. That's quite important. As I've discussed before, the left shoulder is like the center point of the swing. So just having the ball just inside that will just give you the opportunity just to hit slightly from in to out, which would, which would encourage a draw. But also at the same time, we don't want to be hitting too excessively into out by moving the ball back. We don't want to be moving too far forward and hitting excessively from out to in. We want to try and neutralize the swing path as much as possible. Whether we're hitting a little fade or a little draw, we want to try and keep the shape down to a minimum. Also, playing the ball in this position enables you to shallow the strike out. So with an iron, we want to be hitting slightly down. With a driver, we want to be quite level. We don't want to be, again, we don't want to be excessively down or excessively up. It depends on the individual, but to get to the longest, the longest potential distance, we probably want to hit up slightly. Um, I would say the average PJ Tour player does hit very slightly down maybe one or two degrees on average. Um, I, think, I think that's quite good to help with consistency with um, direction and power. But if you want to maximize the power, then you want to probably want to hit up more. But I like to see quite a level sort of uh, angle attack into the goal ball. Other things to look for in the setup. Hand position, sort of inside the left leg. Same as with the irons, but the ball's further back. So you see here, hands just very slightly in front of the club head. Ball position, just inside the left heel, just inside the left shoulder. Another key thing is the side tilt. So I see a lot of golfers, they set up the driver, they sort of lean back like this to give them a side tilt. I like to see the golfer, as they set up, bump the hip forward just to create a slight side tilt. So with the driver, we're probably looking around about 10 degrees of side tilt, probably a little bit more with the driver than it is with the irons. But what that does, it just again, that is another way of shallowing in a strikeout. I think the, the stack and tilt where players go wrong if they're trying to do the swing themselves is they probably set up too much on the left with the head, so there's not enough side tilt. And they probably, as they swing, they probably keep the head too, too far to the left in the backswing, which it shouldn't be in front of the golf ball at this point. We want the head to be a rough guide in the middle of the stance and the head to stay very centered. So a few things to look for in the backswing of the stack and tilt golf swing. I'm gonna do this from down the line here. So as you swing back, left shoulder should go down, knee flexion start to change. Hand path and club start to move inwards. By about this point here, the left arm is across the chest. That's not out in front of me, it's across the chest. And the shaft's pretty much going through my bicep at this point. By the time we get to the top of the backswing, the right leg would have straightened the most out of any club that we use. So if we're using a wedge, it's going to straighten fractionally. With a driver, because it's a longer swing, it progressively straightens until we get to the top. So you might find some players almost lock the leg by the time they get to the back. I'm not saying you should lock it. I'm just saying it should, you should allow it to straighten slightly just to help you sort of turn, turn your hips as you go back. So we get to the top here. Left arm should be across the shoulder plate. Now as we start down, I'm going to do this from the face on view here. So we've made a good job to the top of the swing. And from here, as I start down, I'm going to, my lower body is going to start to move forward. And I'm going to start to rotate my lower body. My right knee is going to start to regain its flexion. That's quite key. Obviously at the top, I see it's quite straight. But by the time we get down to this point here, should start to get into its original bend by this point. That's quite important. Now, as we come into impact, I like to see the hands very slightly ahead. And that doesn't mean you're going to hit excessively down. You can have the handle ahead, but still hit slightly up on the ball. So if I'm, 
if I'm swinging through, I've got the handle slightly ahead, but if I've pushed my hips through, so I've just got that side tilt which I had at setup, then I'm going to shallow the strike out, and that's I think really important uh, when you swing with the stack and tilt goal swing is to keep an eye on the head movement. By the time it swings back and through, the head shouldn't have moved out of its position. The head can the head can turn, so it can turn or tilt to the left as you go back, and then tilt to the right as you go through, and that's quite important because when you're swinging as you go through, you want to be looking to see where you're going, but you don't want to be lifting the head up like this. It should be turning as it goes through like that. So I've done various videos or drills on this talking about the head on the wall. The head should stay in its position, but the head should turn. That's really important. I see a lot of golfers that try and keep the head down and that restricts their movement through the ball. It creates less power and it doesn't enable them to turn through and move the weight through as they should do. If I swing through and allow my head to turn, not move, just turn, that enables me to turn my neck, my shoulders, my chest, and my whole body through into impact. So you can allow the head to turn, not move out of position. We look at the impact position again. So as I'm hitting the golf ball here, uh, a lot of my weight is on the left here, but my head's pretty much in the middle of my stance where it was at setup. So I'm not gonna be hitting too excessively down. I think a lot of golfers will probably get into this position with the driver. And from there, it's getting very steep and it's very hard to control the ball flight if you've got the head too far in front. I think that's where a lot of golfers, they go wrong trying to adopt the stack and tilt system into their driver. Now, if we continue onto the finish, as we go through here, by about this point here, both arms should be pretty straight. You'll notice almost a straight line with my arm and the club shaft. So I haven't gone through and bent the wrist back. If I was to do that, that would sort of open the club face to the path of the swing and it would probably encourage a bit of a slice. So as I go through, I'm keeping my arms together, keeping a flat left wrist as I go through. I'm not cupping it back. I'm not excessively throwing it forward. I'm staying pretty flat as I go through here. The arms are staying together. And again, as I go through, I'm pushing, continually pushing my weight through to the finish. So by the time I go through here, I'd say about 90, 95% of my weight is on my left leg. I can, hardly, I can almost lift this toe up as I go through. So I haven't got any weight on my back leg as I've gone through. So I'd say the biggest issues occur with the stack and tilt with the driver when at setup, there's not enough side tilt. It should be like that. There's not enough side tilt and the head's too far in front of the ball. And then coming back into impact, the player will either lean back or they'll keep the head in front of the golf ball and get quite steep on it. I think that's where a lot of the issues come in. So with the driver, it doesn't matter if you fade or draw it, we want to try and neutralize the path. We want to try and keep a centered head turn. I showed you there, the lower body should be pushing through. We talked about briefly the hand path as we went back there. We talked about the back leg straightening the most with the driver, but then important to regain flexion as we start down, as we get through here, that's really important. And um, we talked about the impact position with the hips being in front, the flat left wrist, as we go through, keeping the arms pretty straight into the finish, and obviously finishing with the weight on the left. But notice I'm not leaning forward with my head here. So I'm not going forward with my head and pushing my hips through. That's giving me the extension on the finish. So hopefully that's going to help you. If you're struggling a little bit with your driver, maybe take a look at your setup, take a look at your swing. You may be missing a few key pieces there, which could really help you. So golfers, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments on that, please post them in the box below. If you don't already, please follow me on my other social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.